Hi folks and welcome to my Ask Shell coffee break. Today we're going to talk about those loose ceramic tiles around the back of your shower or bathtub and how important it is on what to do or not to do because so many homeowners today are doing the wrong thing. Now what do you think would be the wrong thing? Well let me tell you, recocking them, re-silicone sealing them, all of these items only create more problems. So let me explain some of the highlights that you'll find that is causing the deterioration of your ceramic tile. Number one, the biggest concern, the biggest problem you have is resealing with silicone seal or caulking along the top of the bathtub where the ceramic tile come down and meet. The reason why that's always a bad location to keep caulking and caulking and caulking because you keep holding and holding and holding the water back. Because originally the tiles were installed, or as we call it, tile setting, is when they're set with a uh, lip in behind the tub lip, in behind, if you're following me, the ceramic tile bottom because water can find its way down and out. And that is very important, because if not, if you keep caulking and caulking, that becomes filled up, then the water is held in behind the tiles. With water being held in behind your tiles, then obviously it's going to find itself going back into the gypsum board, even the green board. Uh, green board you got to be very uh, cautious out there today what you buy as green board. Green board, the true name green board, is a good product. When it comes to aqua board, aqua board is a product that is sold uh, for a little more money than your regular drywall, and it's really nothing more than a sealer on the paper and giving you uh, the opportunity to consider it for in behind tiles. But you know, in behind slabs of drywall, uh, in behind slabs of uh, granite, marble, uh, cultured marble, all those sort of things, no problem. But when you're dealing with ceramic tile and grout lines and potential water wicking or weeping back in behind, you want to use a cementitious material like your green board, like your uh, cementitious board, like a James Hardy backer board, all these different uh, products that are considered cement-based products. Now, where and how do you normally find this sort of thing happening? It's when you're drying the tiles down after a shower or a bath. If you feel the least little softness in that wall, you know there's a problem. That problem's not going to go away, folks. That problem is already there. Once it's got to that point of deterioration in behind, the problem is there now to be repaired. Not solved, repaired. So, squeegeeing, toweling down, which should take place after every shower. So many homeowners say, well, I can't get my kids to do it. Well, it becomes a maintenance item and a maintenance item for possibly the uh, mom or dad until such times you get tired of it. And then you have to put some, uh, I guess, some uh, restoration work together and uh, trying to get the restoration into the minds of the uh, the younger audience not wanting to do the drying and the squeegeeing. So I'm going to leave that to you. That's a home uh, concern. But when you have that problem, caulking, resealing, sealing with silicone seal on grit lines is not the answer. You have to remove it. You have to go in, tear down the, uh, the drywall or the aqua board and replace and retile. Good opportunity maybe, bathroom remodeling at that particular time. And if you're in the greater Vancouver area, we do just literally hundreds over the years in bathroom uh, upgrades. So, and that's Shell Buzzy's Home Improvements. So when it comes to referrals, you know we're in the referral business if you're in the greater Vancouver area. And if you're across the country, certainly check our website, which you remember, AskShell.com. But it's always important, every shower, every bath, those ceramic tile have got to be squeegeed down, dried down with the soiled towel after you're finished drying down, and then leave the door open 
to the shower or the curtain back, fan on for a minimum of one hour after every shower or bath, and leave the bathroom door open when you leave. That way you get a movement of air in and away and out of that bathroom. It's just that easy, folks. Thank you.